Hey, Psst. over here in the bottom corner. Hi, guys. Yeah, we're back. Sean, Blue Ridge Silverhound, is here with another fancy serial number report on your Friday. Hope everyone's doing well. Hopefully you guys are finding some bangers out there in circulation. All right, so we have uh, about 20 more notes to talk about. All fresh finds from people hunting through uh, bank straps of dollars, twos, fives, or whatever they grab out of an ATM. It could be a $20 bill. It could be a 50 but each and every single one has a highly identified, identifiable rather, highly identifiable fancy serial number pattern. All right, we got binaries, trinaries, radars, repeaters, double quads, true binaries, inner rows, low serial, high serial, scrambled lathers, in certain cases, birthday notes, you name it. We talk about it. And we also tell you how much these things have sold for. So that way you guys can make a good informed financial decision of whether or not it's worth selling these right now. The market is robust. Um, to say that it is hot is an understatement. A lot of people are getting into it. A lot of new collectors coming into the hobby. And they're not shy about opening up their wallets for some of these notes. Say it's gonna blow your mind how much some of these have sold for just in the last 24 hours. Uh, so a lot of what we have here on eBay are all realized sales, completed sales within the last 12 to 24 hours. It used to be, guys, six months ago when I first did this report, I had to go back four, five, six days on certain occasions to come up with a reasonable list of notes to talk about. But now, here we are, heading into the latter part of the year. The holidays are upon us, and people are loving the hobby. All right? From a seller perspective, from a hunter's perspective, from a collecting perspective, it is fantastic. So let's get into it. All right, starting off here with this $1 bill uh, with a binary serial number, ones and sevens, Ended up selling for $45. Now, what I traditionally don't talk about, but I do bring up at the very beginning of the video, is that people do charge for shipping. Some may not charge for shipping. Some people do charge for shipping. The people that do charge for shipping, you have to take into consideration that it, that dollar amount, however much that could be, it could be $2, it could be 5 bucks, it could be 10 bucks, is part of the cost of ownership to own the note. All right, so if something sells for 45 bucks and someone charges $10 for shipping, it's actually $55 shipped um, to own that note. So in this particular case, $45 for this note right here, as you can see, ones and sevens only in the serial number. Uh, it's raw, uh, ungraded note. This is a 2003A series $1 bill. It looks to be in phenomenal shape. Uh, I would dare say that it's crackling fresh. You guys will hear me talk about crackling fresh all throughout the video as a note that is crisp, uncirculated. Looks like it was printed yesterday. No folds, nothing like that. Um, so that's that's how we're going to kick off the um, the fancy serial number report today with this beauty. 45 bucks is uh, a pretty good haul. On a binary serial number, uh, of course, ones and sevens are some of the more popular numbers to collect. Um, you know, maybe whether they're comboed together, you know, remains to be seen. But this is um, uh, a really nice, what I consider to be a somewhat overachieving value for this note. But seeing as how the market is uh, only going up and the collector base is only expanding at this point, I could assume that the prices are not going to stay low for too much longer. All right, coming up next here, we have a star note, which the seller had also mentioned as a low fancy serial number. Uh, it is a five digit. You guys know my stance on five digit serial numbers. I don't think they're that low to begin with. However, this particular note is kind of in rare company. It is a star note that is part of a very small run of only 250,000 pieces made for this particular run, all right? So, which makes it a little bit more desirable, all right? Especially in higher condition. 
$35 was the sale price on this one with one singular bid. The seller said, this is how much I'm willing to go on this one. I'm not going any lower. So I'll start it at 35. If anybody wants to put a bid on it, fine. If not, whatever, I'll go ahead and relist it at the end of the auction. So you can see the uh, note is circulated. It's got some crinkles in there, uh, but aside from that, uh, pretty nice vivid inks. Uh, it's a 2017 dated series note, $1 bill. Um, pretty cool. Again, you got trip nines in there, a zero and an eight. Uh, not a flipper, because uh, the eight does not flip to be an eight itself, although it does look like it. Um, it's got a bigger, rounder bottom loop than the top, and it doesn't translate the same way that sixes and nines do. Uh, so pretty cool. Very nice note. Uh, again, always look out for uh, star notes with this low production run. You could always check out mycurrencycollection.com to confirm the run size. Uh, there are run sizes that are a lot smaller that will end up garnering more money in the secondary market. Even notes that are pretty well circulated tend to sell um, for a, a, a above what you know some of the other more traditional star notes go for. Uh, coming up next here, uh, we have what looks to be a 2017A. The picture is so small right there. Uh, this is a repeater, a four-digit repeater. They call it a double quad repeater, with, which is the incorrect terminology for such a thing. But anyways, another minimum floor here, $47.87. That's how much this seller was willing to accept. And someone did buy it as a, a buy it now listing. Uh, 2017A is indeed what the number is. So it's 5881-5881. Pretty simple. Some would even say it's a trinary as well, which is another popular search term for this particular fancy serial number. Uh, trust me, you know, that the more the more correct fancy serial number keywords that you enter into your listing title, the more that it's going to suit you better. But you don't, at the end of the day, you don't want to mislead the collectors. All right, you want to make sure that you're putting the correct terminology in there, but just, you know, load it up uh, the best that you can. Uh, here's a 1974 uh, $1 bill. Uh, it's uh, This ace right here is a trinary. And it sold for $9.50, six bids. What's so special about it? It didn't sell for like a boatload of money. Uh, but again, there you go. Five-digit serial number. Some people really do call this a low serial number. Um, but it's a trinary. And you have five zeros, which play into the fanciness of the note. So zeros, ones, and threes is what we have there. The note um, is a little bit circulation, circulated. It does have some discoloration here in the bottom margin. All right, which, you know, can detract from the overall appeal of the note. Uh, but how can you argue with a $10 return on that one? That's not too bad. Uh, we have a 2017 Ace. And uh, this one right here is a trinary radar. Good job with the keywords. Of course, coming from uh, Ronald, he's one of the big sellers of fancy serial numbers. This one ended up hammering here uh, just... Earlier today, it looks like, uh, no, yesterday, uh, to the tune of $10.39 with 10 bids. Uh, as you can see here, 63655636. So the first four numbers read exactly the same backwards for the back half of the uh, serial number. Uh, 2017 $1 bill, uh, pretty well circulated, you know. If you don't care about grade at all, um, then, you know, this one's just fine. It's suitable. I, I think it's sold for the right amount of money. Uh, but looking at the serial number, a lot of people won't see the radar right away. So you have to condition your eyes and your brain to recognize that. Uh, so that way you can pull that type of note out and not spend it. Uh, Ronald also ended up selling this 2017 A Ace. He's probably down to the nitty gritty here with his, uh, Six in a row once. Uh, this one ends in eight zero, as you can see. Uh, I think he ended up pulling a, a BEP pack of these things, and that's why he's been selling all the numbers every week that start out with six ones. 
How about a $36 sale? 28 bids. Uh, beautiful notes. Again, these are all crisp, crispy, uncirculated. Uh, slight, slight little bit of over-inking on some of the, uh, the areas on here. Um, it's all within tolerances of BEP uh, specs. Um, so you're not going to be um, promoting that heavily to sell it. Um, pretty cool one here, 2013 Ace. Uh, a lot of $1 bills this week. That's good to see. People are actually paying attention and hunting through $1 bills rather than 20s, 50s, and 100s. Uh, $6.99. Uh, it's a binary. Ones and fours, two bids. Uh, this one ended up selling 8 o'clock last night, so a pretty late um, sale. And I'm trying to figure out why it sold for so little. Um, it's it's a good note. Good note, binary, very attractive, eye-appealing. Uh, probably just sold too late. I don't know, kind of hard to say. Uh, next one that we have here, our first large denomination. I think anything over a five is what I consider a large denom. Uh, we have another cool binary, uh, six in a row, six of a kind eight. Sorry, I gotta get used to saying that. And two sixes. Uh, this one sold for sixty dollars, fifteen bids. So he did make profit. Uh, there's a little bit of a close up. Uh, this note has seen plenty of light of day uh, with its circulation wear all throughout. It's not the prettiest looking note, uh, but it did get the job done for a number of years. Um, so there we are another, another nice one. And, uh, eights are in, in incredibly sexy in the fancy serial number realm. Um, and that's the, um, that's the number that everybody wants, you know? So pretty, pretty nice sell there, uh, from Marine Money, brand new seller. Well done. Uh, pretty cool one here too. Uh, this one I should push toward the back, um, because it did sell for a best offer. I'm just going to guess 10 bucks. Uh, but you do have all these threes in the middle there. There are six of them. So it's a six in a row, 2021 brand spanking new note. I'm telling you guys, time to look at some new notes if you can get a hold of them because there's some bearing the new 2021 dates. Um, that should be a target for some of you. Um, so, you know, let's say in a perfect world, it's a $10 sale. All right. Uh, there could be worse things. Um, the threes are very nice because they're all in a row. Uh, but it's not the best number for collectors. You know, that's that's the only issue here. But outside of that, a really nice, uh, really nice note. It looks to be uncirculated, all right, which, which plays uh, a huge deal in the um, collector's market because uh, people, ideally, at the end of the day, they want nice fresh looking notes and that's what this one is right here uh next one here is going to be what appears to be another trinary but a lot of zeros on this 2013 ace ten dollar sale one bid so that was the minimum right there and that's how much exactly they got now it did sell at eight o'clock in the morning this morning uh which can be a little bit early um, you, you end up shutting down half of the country because it's so early in the morning and people, um, especially on, uh, on fringe kind of like on the fence type of fancies like this one here, you probably want to end this one toward the mid middle of the day, right? In the afternoon, two o'clock, three o'clock. Um, you're going to get a lot more people that will be buyers on something like this. Um, so there you go. Lots of zeros in there. That's kind of a big selling feature. It's a trinary, although the note does leave a lot to be desired from the condition department. Uh, but there you go. Uh, pretty nice sale. Our first um, double quad fancy that we've seen in, I would say, a few weeks on this $1 bill 2017A series. How about an $81 sale, ladies and gentlemen? 23 bids. Now, uh, this is this is a note that people will be around first thing at the light of day of the morning, uh, at 8.30 in the morning to be exact, uh, to bid on. Uh, because it's one of uh, what we call the elite fancy serial numbers. Uh, it's probably this, and then super repeaters, and then um, like two-digit low serials. 
Um, so it's it's kind of like in that realm right there. This one probably beats out a lot of six of a, or seven of a kinds, uh, but seven in a row, it's like right on par there. Four threes, four th four sevens, pretty pretty neat. Uh, and then your district number is a seven, uh, which e makes it even more cooler. Um, the note is in actually pretty decent shape. I would say an XF. It does have a little paper wave, you know, uh, like it's circulated a little bit. Uh, but there you go. Pretty nice uh, Chicago Ace there. 81 bucks. Uh, here's another cool one too. So it's pretty much the same notes that Ronald is selling. That's begin with six ones. Only this time around, this is a 1999 series. And it's a lot of three notes. And they're all consecutive. Uh, quite honestly, at $49.95, I think it's kind of a steal. Considering that Ronald has been selling these notes individually for between $30 and $60. So, um, they definitely left a lot a uh, lot on the table here with the, this, uh, this trio. And, and I get it. Um, they're trying to sell it consecutively as a set so that way it stays together. Um, but this could have been something that probably could have been sold individually and have done much better than this $50 sale would conclude. Um, and the notes were all crisp and circulated. These were found very early on, uh, but I love that. All those ones there, incredibly eye appealing. Uh, here is a trinary on a 1969B, a little bit older $1 bill. How about a $25 sale on this one, uh, which features one lonely zero and then threes and nines. So I guess the play here on this is that nines are divisible by three. And, uh, you know, that kind of makes it a little bit a little bit interesting of a note. And the note is in phenomenal shape. Again, a uh, nice, crispy, uncirculated note. A little bit off-center. A little miscut here. Uh, nothing too crazy, but that, that's a really solid $25 sale. Uh, probably a little bit more than I would spend for something like that. Uh, much like the first sale that we looked at to kick off the fancy serial number report, uh, we have another binary here, ones and sevens, only this time it has more sevens, six of them to be exact. $30 sale here uh, with one single bid, so that's the starting price. And the note shows a few center folds, some corner folds as well. Um, a, a pretty good, I would say, problem-free VF25. If I had to guess on grade. Uh, here's another one here. Uh, it's a binary, but what I like about this one is that all the numbers are grouped together by likeness. So all the twos are together and then the two sevens. Uh, $34 sale. 1988 Ace. Um, A series. Good looking note. Great serial number. Uh, very attractive uh, from a grade perspective. Nice sale. <laughs> uh, this is what they call a true binary because it's zeros and ones only. Uh, $65. They put near repeater, which they're not wrong. It's nearly a repeater, uh, but still very far from that. Uh, a really good sale. And I'm going to tell you why here. And it's because of that. Uh, not the fact that it's the picture of this note was taken on a pair of Levi's 501s. Um, but the note is pretty well worn. Uh, I probably would classify this as a fine 12 and I being extremely, um, forgiving on that grade. Uh, it could grade a lot lower. It could be a VG eight, you know, um, it's got some discoloration to it. it might just be the pictures, but outside of that, uh, that that's a good sale there for a true binary. They do get a lot crazier than that. And talk about crazy, Batman. Um, this $50 bill sold for $352 with 17 bids. Holy crap. Um, and um, check out the serial number. It looks like a, a jumbled mess, right? But if you look at it real clearly... It's a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a scrambled ladder. I've never seen a scrambled ladder fancy sell for this kind of money. All right. Uh, granted, it's a fifty dollar bill. It's one of my favorite denoms. You know, as far as the overall 
um, look of it. But boy, what a sale this is. A lot of people were interested in this one. You know. Uh, I mean, in comparison, this one either looks like too big of a deal or it's drastically underpriced on this 2017 $20 bill. A low serial number 20 star note. Good gracious. Uh, $368.95. Nine bids. Yes, folks. That's how much these things sell for, uh, especially with a star, uh, non-star, low, double-digit serials like this. Um, tend to fall about 50% of what a star note is, just so you guys are aware. Uh, but it's not crisp and circulated. It, it's got some wear to it, you know, some wave, uh, centerfold. Uh, but outside of it, ah, oh man, that's a really good sale on this one. $368.95. Um, no argument here. I would keep this one, even at a higher higher denomination. You know, I, I wouldn't send this one back. Uh, so we have a number of sales where best offers were accepted. So we're going to use 130 point to check these out. But the first one is the 2013-20 uh, with a repeating trinary repeater. So it's 3191, 3191 on the serial. So it's a four-digit repeater. Uh, decent note. High-end VF, VF35. If I had to take a stab at the grade. Um, but what we're going to do here is copy and paste this into 130point, which is 130point.com. Generally a website that, that sports card people uses but can also be used for coin and currency as well for best offers. So we're going to go ahead and uh, give this a go, see how much this one sold for. Um, and $39.95 was the original ask. Uh, and this one, and it takes a moment for it to uh, 35 bucks. So they got a $4.95 discount on that one. Uh, not that one, on this one right here. Uh, the next one here, low digit serial, three digit nine four five on this two thousand nine one dollar bill. Uh, great looking note again. I love those low serials. Uh, pretty well weathered piece here. I I don't know if that's ink, pen and ink right there. Unbelievable looking piece. Uh, not not by grade, but so this one. Let's go ahead and uh, check this one out. Copy and paste, hit the enter button, and then we will have the results in short order. Uh, $31.50, so we're looking at about $7.50 discount on this one. Still a good sale. Uh, it's well within reason based off of the condition of the note. Uh, here's another one right here, low digit 273. Do a little quick copy there. Uh, Originally asking forty six ninety nine, uh, it's got it's an X too, which is cool. Two thousand nine series one, yeah, pretty well uh, worn. Uh, again, always a note that you should pull out of your change. All right, some people may not care about the condition of the note, and this one, ladies and gents, sold for forty dollars. That's a really good sale. I like that one. Uh, good in a sense that. It's right in the money. Uh, here's a here's a neat one right here. 2017A. Um, it's a lonely number eight amongst all those zeros there. So it's a seven of a kind of zeros. It's not a millions note uh, because the eight is not the, one of the first two numbers in the serial number. Uh, $129 was the original ask. You can see the, uh, yeah, this one's uh, a beater as well. Um Pretty good soiling in there. And uh, this one, my friends, ended up selling for, see, originally $129. Uh, where did it go? Let's go ahead and copy. I don't know. I don't think I copied this one. We'll give it another go. 
Yeah, that's what happens. I did not copy. No results found. Okay, so what's the deal here? Usually with something like that happening, it's going to be um, a unique character that it does not like. Let's see if we can get rid of that there too. Nope. Clear results. I may not have information on this one. We'll see. Nope. Nope. So that's weird. Okay. All right. Well, for now, this one is a large question mark. Someone may want to try it later on, and you guys can let me know in the comments what how much that one sold for. And just for kicks and giggles, we have a graded note. <coughs> um, nineteen thirty four hundred dollar bill, light green seal. It looks to be, or maybe a medium green, serial number eight eight seven. PMG 30 VF, only five higher. Uh, beautiful, beautiful note. Um, of course, fancy serial numbers at its highest level are collected on the older notes. And boy, do they command a lot of money. Boy, do they command a lot of money. So much money. Uh, as you can see, this one was over $1,000 for the ask price. So let's see, $1,475. Congratulations to the seller. That's a huge hit. So there you go. That's the fancy serial numbers at a glance here today on this report. A lot of fun. You guys go out there, search for some of these if you guys are tired of coins. Um, this You got to understand, when you're doing this, you're playing with house money. You're simply going to the bank and buying bills. And you can take it back anytime you want to, deposit it back in the bank, and then start all over somewhere. You know, uh, but as you can see, there's a lot, a lot of equity uh, built. Uh, everything is liquid in today's market, and there's a lot of collectors coming into it. Not to mention the numerologist people that collect these as well, the folks overseas that collect them as fancy or lucky numbers too. So it's got a wide berth, a wide range of collectability. And that only plays to our advantages here, you know, where this thing is going to continue to, to burst open at the seams and the, the, the notes are going to get more expensive, more people are going to be doing it. And that's what we want to see from the hobby, a truly approachable way of collecting where it's not going to break the bank. But there you go. That's what we got. I'm your host, Sean, with Blue Ridge Silverhound. Thank you guys again for tuning in. This was a lot of fun, very fun week of fancies. So uh, best of luck in your hunts. I hope you guys find some big bangers. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my content. Come check me out also on all the other social media as well. You guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time. So long.